Patrick Lockyer, a Brit in Florida, making a comment on the issue of teen torture, which has recently been uh, shown on YouTube. Uh, this is my um, armed services uh, veterans badge just received um, from England, sent all the way to uh, Florida here for anyone who's um, served in Her Majesty's Armed Forces and I served from 1961 to 1970 um, five years in Germany uh, spent time in um, Berlin was um, personal driver of uh, Major General um, Patrick Hubbard or Hubbard is a tank general and uh, we were in the um, forefront of uh, facing up to the Reds and um, so I went to, Germ to Berlin and took uh, Colonel Eberhardy to Berlin who was um, a famous in Borneo after that and he um, uh, we went to Checkpoint Charlie just because we could and the officers would sit in the back whilst um, the driver had to go through the Russian border posts and uh, take all the paperwork and also to some extent take all the risk and uh, that was um, um, my part in them um, keeping us safe from nuclear attack over the last um, uh, 30 or whatever years. Now we'll follow more of uh, my comments uh, opposing torture and team torture and what it does to our image around the world. Um, I'm Patrick Lockyer. I'm um, uh, a Brit in Florida, in Jacksonville, Florida. I'm a ex-vet, uh, served 1961 to 1970 in the Royal Corps Transport. Um, my service number was 2387-4343 um, and uh, I would like to make a comment about this business of um, team torture as to whether the torture was authorized from the very top and uh, um, what this all means, what this means to us all and whether we should um, uh, do something about it and whether it's important or not. I certainly think that um, as a Brit um, and the fact that we're allied to America that I do deplore the fact that we will stoop to these levels uh, just just to get information for a start as anyone will, will always tell you you can't rely on the information you get in this way anyway and um, it seems to me that quite often the people who have been uh, arrested have been just pulled in because of this uh, uh, money that this bonus that America has put on anyone who gets pulled in. I know that people in Pakistan, Afghanistan and Iraq were, they had a price on their head whether they were really um, terrorists or not didn't matter if they were just someone with no uh, family or if they were just a, a, a local gypsy they got arrested and um, accused of being terrorists and I think the they got uh, $5,000, some of these people, just for turning anyone in. So don't rely on the people in Guantanamo or in Abu Ghraib as being legitimate terrorists. And then it comes to the point as to what is a terrorist. You know, um, we talk about insurgents, and uh, that was a pretty new word to me in this war, but I guess you could apply the word insurgents to the free French when uh, Germany was occupying France and uh, you know you could call those terrorists also and you could you could justify um, killing them uh, with collateral damage but I, uh, I I really don't believe that um, as well as torturing people and waterboarding them which I'm totally against and if you google Patrick Lockyer L-O-C-K-Y-E-R -E you'll see my comments on Sean Hannity and the fact that he approves uh, this kind of behavior, this kind of torture, which I, I surely don't. But um, 
as I say, you know, I can just imagine the, the, the uh, recruiting officers of, of these radicals being um, shown well, in the waiting room while they line up to sign on, being shown the, uh, these uh, YouTube things and uh, uh, being shown what we, what we can stoop to. Uh, it would be a good recruiting tool, I would think, and also I can think uh, maybe that if they do get hold of our people and if they ever do uh, uh, feel inclined to, to uh, torture, that they might have some way of replaying the soundtrack or whatever of these things that, that are said, you know, um, terrible things are said here, and, and you, they turn on Obama um, and... Uh, uh, Barack Obama and say were well, things well he'd never make a good president and yet you know we hear stories of what the present president is is uh, uh, quite capable of and you know you get the uh, bias guilty by association I've heard Ann Coulter on um, Sean Hannity show say uh, let's bomb Iran until they couldn't even build a transistor radio and you know, that, from a woman, to hear that is appalling to me, that she doesn't consider the blood lo loss that would occur if that were carried out to, to women and children and civilians and, uh, and people who have got nothing to do with the military establishment whatsoever. And then you hear um, R Rush Limbaugh saying, um, oh, he's pleased that McCain says that we'll be there for a hundred years in which time we can kill them all, you know, kill kill them all. Who who is he talking about killing them? You know, the, the insurgents, the people who don't like being occupied, uh, and and yet, you know, we, they are the people who complain about the ones who might lead us, whether it's Clinton or, or whether it's um, uh, Barack Obama, and they they pull up some stupid thing about their religion and, and the fact that they might be opposed to to guns and and uh, might think that religion has got has had a a terrible effect uh in the past you know that you've got all the you can't be a leader of america unless you you unless god talks to you and unless you uh, are for guns you know unless you come out and say i'm you know like hillary recently i'm the next Annie Oakley of America, unless you say things like that, you're just not um, uh, going to get the vote. And what does that say? You know, it says really that America hasn't advanced from Dodge City. It's still, uh, the local judge is probably also the, the priest, and um, the sheriff is probably very close to being uh, a bandit, and guns and religion and the hate of anyone who's a stranger in town, they are relevant, and that is the, the, what you hear of in America. And if we're going to have another four or eight years of someone leading the country on the basis of, you know, they've got religion, they've got guns, and they're anti-abortion and anti-gays, well, I just think that God help us, and God help the great country of America that I came to here, um, after having years of admiration for uh, what America stood for. Thank you.